And we have new information in a deadly Clark County school bus crash. We now know the name of the little boy who died. Aiden Clark's obituary describes him as a truly unique, caring, and an inquisitive soul. Aiden loved board games and sports. He was 11 years old. And the man trooper said caused the crash was in court this morning, as were we. Investigators said Hermanio Joseph crossed the center line, hit the bus, and caused it to flip. 52 elementary students were on board. More than two dozen got hurt. And at last check, two kids are still in the hospital. New Center 7's Mike Campbell is live in Clark County this afternoon. Uh, Mike, this hearing today was simply to set bond for Joseph. Well, that's exactly right, James. Now, I'm joining you live from the spot where that bus crash took place. And, in fact, you can see the memorial that's growing here in honor of 11-year-old Aiden Clark. Now, the hearing in court today should have been uneventful, but we learned a lot more than expected over a court hearing that ended up stretching to 17 minutes because of language barriers. Hermanio Joseph walked into a Clark County courtroom Thursday for a bond hearing on his aggravated vehicular homicide charge. The court had to recruit a local health care worker to interpret in Creole after learning Joseph could not understand English or Spanish. Could you uh, converse with the defendant, um, Hermanio Joseph, and make sure that he can understand you? Yes, that's right. Section 29. The judge then moved into reading the specifics of the charge against Joseph. He's accused of driving out of his lane, head on into a northwestern school bus carrying 52 elementary age students. 11-year-old Aiden Clark died from injuries suffered in the collision. Driving left of center, striking the school bus. The judge told Joseph a conviction could result in 6 to 12 months behind bars. We would ask the prosecution then asked for a $100,000 bond. They believe Joseph could be a flight risk because of few ties to the community, an invalid Mexico driver's license troopers found on him, and the fact prosecutors learned he has a Haitian immigration registration in Florida. Would that mean that he would have been expected to be actually living in Florida? Uh, that, is, that is my understanding. The court is going to set a bond in the amount of $100,000 cash or surety. The judge set that bond and then asked Joseph if he would like to request an attorney. He was not prepared for the answer the interpreter started to give. So the only thing he can think about is like while he was driving out of his lane. Okay, space. I, I, I'm not going to get into the facts of the case. And Joseph did end up requesting an attorney at the end of that hearing today. He is expected to possibly be back in court again on Monday, and the Clark County Prosecutor's Office expects to present this entire case to a grand jury on Monday and says additional charges may be possible. Now stay with us next hour because we're working to bring you more about the overwhelming feelings this incident is creating in the Northwestern Schools community here in Clark County. For now, reporting live, Mike Campbell, News Center 7. Oh.